Welcome to the 20 inch iMac Aluminum Take Apart Guide. To start with, you have to remove the RAM. There's a small bracket on the bottom of the iMac. Remove the one Phillips screw that holds this bracket on. And then gently pry up on the bracket to remove it. Take your small, flat tool and pry up on the two plastic pieces that you see inside the RAM bay. Pull on the plastic piece to remove the RAM chip. It's easiest to work on the iMac with it on its back. First of all, take a suction cup and suction it to the glass. You'll notice the glass is not adhered, but it is held on by magnets. Get the first part loose at the top, then move the suction cup to the bottom to remove the bottom. Then just remove the glass. You will see 12 screws that surround the LCD. These are Torx 8 screws. Get your Torx 8 screwdriver to remove these. There are four long screws along the bottom, and then on both sides of the LCD there are two shorter screws, as well as four shorter screws along the top. To remove the aluminum casing, gently pry up at the top by pressing on the LCD and pulling on the casing. You will notice a small cable connection. You can unhook this connection. Do that before removing the casing. Now just lift the top of the casing and slide down to remove it. To remove the LCD, you will see a small cable that runs from underneath the LCD, beside the fan, and connects onto the logic board. Remove that. Now you will have to remove the display cable. It is held on by two Torx 6 screws. Get your Torx 6 screwdriver and remove both of these screws. Now just gently pull up on the cable to remove it. Now you will see a total of 8 Torx 8 screws on both sides of the LCD, 4 on each side. Remove these screws with your Torx 8 screwdriver. To remove the LCD, you will need to lift it from the left side, leaving the right side of the LCD in place, because there are four connections that are on the back of the LCD. Here you will see them. You will have to unclip these connections. Just gently slide them apart. Now it's time to remove the logic board. Be very careful with the logic board because this is the most expensive part of the whole machine. To remove the cable connections on the logic board, take your flat tool and gently pry them up.
On the right side you will see a metal guard guarding a cable. It's right below the fan. To remove this guard, gently pry it up with your flat tool. After you remove the guard, you can simply unhook the cable. Now to remove the power supply cable. It is quite difficult and can be the hardest cable to remove. There are two clips that lock it on both sides. Simply pinch that and slide it out. Now to remove the right speaker. There is just one Torx 8 screw. Get your screwdriver and remove that screw and simply lift up on the speaker to remove it. Now you'll notice that there are eight Torx 8 screws holding the logic board in. These need to be removed. Now on the metal heat sink, you'll notice there are three screws that need to be removed. There are little arrows pointing to these screws. These are Torx 8 screws as well. Once you've removed all of these screws, you can simply lift up and slide out the logic board along with its heatsink. sink. 